Today we're going to be talking about first loves and pain. Hopefully I got your attention with that little uh, intro, the title. We'll get to that in just a second. Before we jump into first loves and pain, I wanted to say thank you so much for all the comments, emails, etc. I also got some requests for things uh, that people would like to see on the blog. And uh, if you send me a request, uh, hopefully in the next few months you'll see some, some stuff coming out from us to help answer some of those questions. One of the things that struck me about a lot of the requests that we got was the wide diversity. Uh, I had people asking for more neurology about some of the stuff that we do. People asking about, hey, how can I learn more quickly? Uh, how do I deal with this particular problem, this particular issue? And it just speaks to me because one of the things that we know about the Z Health system is that people from many walks of life, many different pursuits, uh, use Z Health. And so it's one of the challenges of doing a blog for the general, the general Z Health community. Uh, I want to make it helpful for you, so uh, just stay tuned and hopefully I'll get to everyone's request soon. Now, for today's topic, I said we're going to talk about first loves and pain. And to explain this, uh, I want to talk about one of my patients from many, many years ago. Uh, not long after I'd, I'd gotten into my first practice, I had a, a great guy come in. He was a uh, a former, uh, not professional athlete, but uh, Division I football player. He was a quarterback uh, at a big uh, school in the SEC. And uh, he had played many years before. And when he came to me as a patient, he came in with low back pain and also some shoulder issues. And one of the things that uh, was problematic for him is he'd gone through uh, treatment for cancer years before with lots of radiation. And so his body was pretty messed up. He had been a, again, a Division I football player. Uh, and then he had all these other things happen along with all of life. And he was in his uh, mid-50s when I first met him. And so when he was seeing me, I was a young guy uh, out of school. I didn't know all the stuff that I know now. So I was kind of using my traditional biomechanical model at that point. Didn't know a lot about neurology. Um, but I tried to be very uh, creative in trying to help people. So what happened in working with him is the first few times I saw him, we were working on his back pain. And I was able to, to uh, help him with that. We got him through that fairly quickly. But what was really bugging him was his shoulder. And I did everything that I knew to do. We did soft tissue work and mobilizations and all kinds of things. I gave him home exercises to do. Nothing was working. He had, any time he came up above 90 degrees, he had shoulder pain. So one day he came in uh, to the office and we're, he was, I was working on him on the table. I got him up. I said, how is he? He's like, ah, it's a little bit better. And something hit me. And I said, Chuck, when's the last time you threw a football? And he looked at me and he went, what do you mean? When's the last time I threw a football? I can't even, I can barely move my shoulder. And I said, well, let's just try it. And being, me being me, I had lots of sports equipment at the office because I love sports. So I said, let's go out in the parking lot. We'll just go out there and we'll just actually start off with kind of a soft toss of the, of the football. And we'll just try and move your shoulder in a way that you haven't moved it in a while. And so we went out in the parking lot and we started a little bit of soft toss. And about within 15 minutes, he was back throwing uh, spirals. He was throwing the football really well. Now, obviously, he was a Division One quarterback. But he hadn't thrown a football in about, uh, he told me, 15 years because of all the stuff that he had been through. The most fascinating thing in that whole process was watching this big smile creep up on his face. And it was one of the most powerful moments to me to remind me that a lot of times, whenever we think we have to follow one route to get to an end point, in other words, he came in wanting to get rid of his shoulder pain, I did all of the traditional stuff that I knew to do, but what really mattered was actually engaging him in something that he enjoyed and reminding him of things that he used to love. So one of the things that I talk a lot about in our courses, and I, and I see this more and more because a lot of the people that come into our professional training courses, uh, they've been in the industry for a while, and they see a lot of clients who have maybe been in the fitness industry for a long time or who are frustrated because they're trying to do all the fitness things. They're trying to do their cardio work and their strength work and their rehab work, etc., and they're getting frustrated and often bored. So my suggestion to you in today's blog is just to answer the, the simple question of what was your first love in terms of movement? Did you, as a child, love football or baseball or softball or volleyball? Or did you just like walking in the woods? Or did you, you know, what, what was the first physical activity that you enjoyed? For me, I'm a martial artist. I was a martial artist from the time I was five years old. And what I've learned is that when I grow frustrated with any fitness pursuit, I need to put it aside and go back to the thing that I love the most, which is training in martial arts. That restores my motivation, and very often if I have something that's bothering me, maybe you know my, my knee or my back or whatever, and I've done all my other rehab stuff and it's not working, doing something that I enjoy is often the most powerful medicine. So for you guys, 
Uh, I just wanted to throw that out to you today. If you have something that you haven't explored in a long time because you were afraid to do it or you didn't think you should, just start off slowly, take it easy, be prepared to be surprised because oftentimes, and this uh, engages what we know now about pain and how our brain works, whenever we can move doing something that we enjoy, it is incredibly powerful. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great week. We're shooting for you, Rick. Yeah, get, get ready. Here comes your video.